All right, so this is my first video of my transformation series. It's a little bit hard in terms of making videos when you're not exactly happy with where you are in terms of your physique or your shape or the way you look or whatnot. However, I've wanted to do this for a long while. I'm a massive fan of these sort of videos, transformation videos. They inspire me and I suppose I want to be inspiration to someone else. And this is going to be the first of my transformation series. How long it lasts, I don't know. Yeah, I just want to document how my body kind of reacts to the plan I'm on, the workouts I do. Um, just a true kind of reflection of my progress, progress if there is any. Here is my form at the moment. <sighs> Not happy whatsoever. Second place, and your runner-up in the medium height class. Your runner-up was number eighty-three, Sean. Yeah! Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon, uh Watch who you stepping, them snakes all around, you know they connected, uh When I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven So I stopped praying and asking for blessings and started preparing for my I'ma get it, got nothing to lose, I'm all in Walking the ends Today is now the 7th of June and I am actually on my way to get my first tan I know these tans look ridiculous, bear in mind this is for the stage I finish work now until after the show I've got tomorrow and then the show is on Saturday I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling super tired I've now cut up pretty much all my fibre I don't have any green veg or anything like that. I am beginning to get a bit hungry and yeah, just feeling really tired and that's where we are at the moment. So I'm going to head to the tanning place, get my tan on and I will catch you guys when I'm done. So I am all done, had my spray tan, I think it looks really really good. I will be back here tomorrow, basically get a second coat. Literally this is me for the evening because I can't shower, can't train, I can't do anything really other than just let this all set because it will start to get a bit darker overnight. So you'll see, I'll show you guys the first thing in the morning but you'll see in the morning before I shower off it'll be really really dark. I am really really hungry. Still got a few meals for today. I'll catch you guys in the morning so you guys can see. Actually, before I do that, I will show you what I look like shirt off with the tan on. Okay guys, so I'm in my bathroom as you can probably tell. Um, just thought I'll get the camera out and show you guys what it's looking like. Tan's looking like there in the light. So you can see it's not super dark. So what will happen is tomorrow I'll go back to the tanning shop after I've washed this coat off, get another coat, leave that till Saturday morning and wash that coat off. Yeah, happy so far and um, yeah, just looking forward to an evening, not really just chilling out doing nothing. Okay guys, so it is the next day. As you can see, I'm a lot darker. Um, this is really good light, I'm in the bathroom. Um, yeah, feeling really good this morning. Got really good night's sleep. And liking the way I'm looking. So I thought I'll get the camera out now. This is before I've had a shower. I showered off the, the coat that I sprayed on yesterday. So in a bit, I'll have a shower and then spray off the coat. So I'll go a bit lighter still, but then I'm gonna have my second coat on later on today. My hair has how I'm looking at the moment. As you can see, still quite orange, more orange than it was last night. Um, stomach wise, but you can see it really gives you that, that aesthetic physique you're going for on stage. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm looking like at the moment. Uh, today is gonna be a lot of posing practice and just trying to relax really, because I live quite a stressful life, so I need to try and relax today, so tomorrow I look as aesthetic as possible. So what I'll do is, when I have a shower and get off this coat that I sprayed on yesterday, I will then once again show you guys what it looks like, because it will probably look quite different, 
and then I'll go and get the spray tan down again later on today and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and then I will show you tomorrow morning what my stage um, tan will look like. But yeah, feeling good um, and quite excited. All right, so it has been a few hours since my last clip and I've had a shower. I'm just about to go and get my second coat on. I just want to show you what it looks like after I've taken off the, the guide color, basically. So I had a shower, pat dry, so no sort of harsh rubbing on the skin so you don't get streaked. And this is what it's looking like at the moment. Slightly different lighting, but the light is still behind the camera, so it's probably going to be about the same. Um, you can see in my shoulders, so it looks like so a little bit lighter than I did look before. Push down, you can see. So back to being a bit lighter. I'm gonna get another coat and hopefully that should help um, darken me up closer to what I look like in the previous clip. Okay guys, it's been a while since my last clip and I completely forgot I didn't show you guys what I look like after my second coat of tan. It was probably about eight hours ago. Um, and the lady behind the till said leave it at least eight hours. I'm gonna leave it a lot longer than that uh, for the tan to take effect, but um, this is the last of the guide color. So this is literally them spraying um, the tan on and what I look like at the moment. And then I'll wash the guide coat off tomorrow morning. So when I get up tomorrow morning, I'll be even darker than I am at the moment. Still looking quite, um, still looking quite good, I would say. Then start, do one, one pose quick, and that's it. So at the moment, all I'm doing is just getting ready for tomorrow, um, packing some clothes because I want to leave early in the morning. Um, and yeah, do pose and practice all evening and just, just relax as much as I can. And just generally try not to stress out at the moment, just trying to be as relaxed as possible. Um, so tomorrow I look my best. Anyway, I won't take the camera out again today. Next time you'll see me, it'll be show day. And um, I just want to say and get this on, on camera, it doesn't really matter to me what tomorrow holds, whether I win, lose, draw, I, I genuinely don't care. It's all about journey to get to that and now in terms of my physique. You know, I've, I've made, I've come a long way in the last 12 weeks and pretty happy with how I'm looking. And I'm not the most shredded and I'm not the most muscular, but you know, ultimately at 35 to be able to still make these changes, I think is, it's something to be um, proud of and I definitely am. So I hope I inspire anyone else that just wants to, to go for something that they want in life because I mean ultimately that's what these videos, that's what I think YouTube's about. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, show day. Wish me luck and uh, I'll try and get as much footage as I can. So here it is, show day. Just woke up obviously, time is six o'clock I think. Um, didn't sleep brilliant last night, which is a bit annoying. I was hoping to get a good night's sleep, but that's the way it is. Anyway, I've still got the guide color tan on, which is why I'm even darker than I will be. Um, so now I'm just about to wash that off, but I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. So feeling quite good in terms of what I've got to do today. I drive to the venue obviously. Um, the venue is it's about a two and a half hour drive from here. I've got a booking at the Airbnb. Uh, I'll pick my sister up on the way there and food obviously is still quite important today because I want to try and stay full of what happens until I get on stage. So I will be showing you guys what I'm eating because it's going to be slightly different to what I normally eat. So I'll get the camera every time I have something to eat and show you guys how I kind of juggle um, trying to eat at the right time in terms of eating before I get on stage and that sort of thing. And then after the show tonight, win, lose or draw, like I said yesterday, I'm not really too fussed. But tonight is a bit of a celebration, so going out for Mexican food. Um, and tomorrow um, will be uh, basically a cheat day. So I'm sorry that I filmed that as well. Should be a good weekend, full of eating from after the show, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time anyway because I've got a lot to do, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next clip.
Alright guys, so I have packed the car, I have made my breakfast Charlene I'm having in a minute. I have my supplements here and that pretty much is it. So I'm really good in time. I've got about half an hour till I have to leave and get out of here, otherwise I'll be late. Literally here I'm just having my oats with blueberries and also peanut butter, stuff you've seen before. So I won't talk you through all of that. I normally have a cup of coffee with this as well every morning. Now in terms of my fluids today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to have as little fluids as possible. Ideally none if I can, just to dehydrate as much as I can until after the show. Uh, last time I drank anything I think was about 1 o'clock last night, 1 o'clock in the morning, and hopefully I don't get on stage till about 8, so by then I should look really, really, really dry out hopefully. Um, obviously this is going to be quite a bit of fluid, so I'm going to eat this. I've also got my supplements there. I'll do another video where I tell you the supplements I have during my contest prep because they're slightly different to what I have during the off season. So I'm gonna eat this and then get out of here really and make my way down to the show. See you guys in the next clip. pretty good not feeling hungry or anything haven't had anything to drink yet just looking forward to, to the rest of the day really so I'm gonna pick her up now which I think she's just walked out and then we're gonna start making our way down to rugby <laughs> Alright guys, so we are halfway, we've just stopped off at a service station and I'm about to have my first snack of the day and it's actually quite a good one actually. First and foremost we have some rice cakes here, these are the organic lightly salted rice cake and then we also have blackcurrant jam and also meridian peanut butter and it'd be one tablespoon of each. The idea is to stop myself from going flat in terms of my muscles really looking a bit flat, a bit watery and also to help try and soak up some more of the fluids so I look a bit drier and with that being said I haven't had anything to drink yet I am beginning to feel a little bit dehydrated um, but nothing crazy I haven't got a headache or anything we're doing really good for time it says we're going to get there about 10 past 11 and I need to be there for 11 30 to check in so really good on time like I said and yeah that's it really so my next meal isn't until four o'clock so hopefully by that time I should be at the Airbnb <laughs> So, all registered, really, really excited seeing all the competitors there. It's always a bit worrying because you look at some people and you think, oh my gosh, like, am I competing against them? But then there's some people you think, nah, I've got a chance. So, um, all registered, like I said, paid for my photo. I'm number 83, which is the year I was born, which is flipping awesome. And yeah, just excited really. So, all I've got to do now is get something to pump up before I get on stage, just some sort of resistance band or something like that and also check into the airbnb so we'll go ahead and do that and i will show you guys what i have for my next meal at about four o'clock all right guys so we are in the airbnb the same place it was last year and yeah the time is now about quarter past one so it's time for my next meal basically it's made up of potatoes some chicken some tomato and some almonds and just like before it's literally as plain as it comes so i'm all registered now it's just a case of waiting for my time to get up on stage i'm going to head off to the show i'm going to head off to the venue at four o'clock to see where they are and then try and judge when i need to come back in time to get on stage so all in all really really good my next meal is only about half an hour from now so i will show you what i have there so it is now four o'clock um, I'm literally just going to head over to the event now just to see where they are in terms of their lineup. I've got a nice snack, I feel so much better and also did a bit of posing practice. Yeah, feeling really good now. Uh, definitely feeling like I'm, I'm looking pretty good. I still feel a little bit flat and I'm hoping that my sort of pre-show carbs will help with that and also the high sugars. But I'm um, feeling pretty good. I said feeling feeling a bit more confident. Yeah, just looking forward to it really. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to it now. So let's get back to the event, see where they are in terms of the lineup and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. It is six o'clock or ten past six. This is gonna be my last sort of snack 
before the jelly beans and then stage. So you've seen already what I've been having with this. It's pretty much the jam and also the peanut butter. So I say it's half six, sorry, it's 10 past six. And I anticipate I'll probably get on stage probably about seven, between seven and eight. I've um, been doing posing practice, got plenty of rest today. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty excited. I'm just gonna see what happens really. So next clip will probably be at the event and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. We're from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end And we run without shame We own the game Once again, another fantastic class, very hard to score, but here's how the results went. Fifth place tonight goes to number 96, Jamie Stanley. Fourth place goes to 101, Michael Purdy. In third place tonight was number 97, Michael Goodrich. Second place, your runner-up in the medium mind class, your runner-up. Was number 83, sure. We're from a different time, yeah, we're of a different breed. Cause what we got is timeless, we still can see. And we hold in the key, yeah, we're tight as can be. That had to be one of the best videos I think I've ever edited. It's taken me a long time, it's about two weeks after the whole show. But just watching it back, watching back and just looking at myself on the stage, I'm so happy with my progress and I'm so happy with what I was able to achieve. So at the beginning of this video, you might have saw a clip from 2015 and I was literally in the same room, literally in the corner just over there and I genuinely was very unhappy with how I looked. It was because I trained so much but I didn't think my body reflected someone that trained. At that point I never once thought about bodybuilding or anything like that and you know I trained for a year and you know I saw that my nutrition, got a nutrition coach and stuff like that and things started to change and I think the first year I thought you know what I probably could potentially go on stage and to me I kind of saw it as just a marker, just a time of the year where I'm going to be like right I'm going to cut down as much as I can just get loads of really cool pictures and just to show you my progress over that year. And the first year I competed, which was last year, um, I was really disappointed I didn't take home a medal, to be honest with you, and I just kind of got the itch to, to really work and try and see if I could at least get a top five post. That's all I wanted. This year, you don't really see it in the video, but honestly, after, I would say, spot number three, I had already written off that I was going to come home with a trophy. Um, but to come home with this, Silver, second place, runner up. It, it truly is, it, it means so much to me, and I'm, I'm so happy with, with what I've achieved. And these videos are not about look at me, they genuinely are to inspire you to do anything you want to do in life and just go for it. Just live in the life you want to live and live in your best self, and that's what this represents to me. Um, I want to finish this video here because it's taken me so long. It's about two weeks post the competition and I'll be 100% honest with you guys I've been picking out I've been eating terrible um, so I need to clean my diet up and get back on track but I just want to say thank you to anyone that supported me thank you to my sister for recording the whole show and anyone that watches the video just thank you and if you have enjoyed the video please hit a like button um, don't forget to share the video if you think someone can get something from it uh, in about three weeks I'm going to be going away to some nice places actually, some really nice places and I really want to try and capture it as much as I did for this video um, with, pro with really cool edits and drone shots and stuff like that so I'm going to be working towards that in the next couple of weeks but I need to get back into shape before um, that happens. There will be a couple of videos about trying to get back on track before going away on holiday and then I'll have holiday vlogs so there should be some good content coming to the channel. Um, 
and if you want to know about it make sure you're subscribed um, and yeah thank you for watching again and I will see you in the next one peace we're moving through the night like we're from a different star flying over streets and our broken hearts but they can even touch us we found a different beat paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubt